children, school is almost over for the day. Why do school days go slower than holidays, Wall? But before we go, I have a very special surprise to announce. The best surprise would be to get out of here before we all fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> right now, ch children, quiet, or else we won't have our special school awards. School awards? This could be good. How could it be good? Every so often, I like to give special awards to my most deserving students. Uh, to begin with, our most adventurous student award, this goes to Kevin. Uh, helping your Annas, this is good. You're prepared to tackle anything, no matter how hard, and sometimes, no matter how little you think about it. It's all thanks to you, Mr Lizard. You taught me that there comes a time to stop thinking and start doing. I did? I've got so many people to thank. There's Mum and Dad, for starters, who never doubted me for a moment and liked my direction. Yes, 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 Kevin. No speeches aren't required. Oh, OK, Mr Lizard, I'm... Next, the uh, Most Resourceful Student Award. This goes to Christy. Awesome! You're always there and ready to solve any problems that come your way. Well done. Thanks, Mr Lizard. <clears throat> The most cautious student award... Please be me! Please, please! ...goes to Emily. Oh, it is me! You provide caution and warning to make the others think about what they're doing before they rush in. Thank you, Mr Lizard. Your award's last while. It's got to be the best. Oh, this is most exciting. And that brings us to uh, the end of this year's school uh, awards. It does. The end? Um... <clears throat> Mr. Lizard, have you possibly uh, forgotten something? Hmm? Forgotten something? Let me see. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, of course. School's out, children. Be on your way now. But I... Oh, this is sweet. Oh, I think my award is the most shiny. Maybe we shouldn't show them off like this. Oh, that's OK, really. I don't mind. You all deserve those awards. I just don't understand why I didn't receive one. Yeah, how come? Oh, you're the best student around, Walt. You never interrupt the class. You always do your homework. Clearly I must have done something wrong. But what? What about last week, Walt? Last week? <laughs> Every time Mr Lizard tried to ask you a question, you disappeared. Mr Lizard kept having to look around for you. I thought he'd blow his stack. Ah, uh, Kevin, that was you. Oh, <laughs> it was me. I mean, what a laugh! <laughs> but while well, you were late for school every day last week... You again, Kevin. Was it? Oh, but while well, you were definitely, totally, absolutely late for school one day last week... Only because I waited for you, Kevin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Wal. Well, you might be right. From now on, I'll be more punctual. I'll never be late for school again. Mr. Lizard! Uh, uh, what? Uh, it's me, Mr. Lizard. Well, eh? Is there an emergency? Is someone hurt? Oh, no, Mr. Lizard. Everything's fine. Then what is the meaning of this? I just wanted to make sure you're not going to be late for school. <laughs> well, eh, it's far too early in the morning to speak gibberish. I just want to let you know how punctual I am. I may be your most punctual student ever, if you get my meaning. Well, quite frankly, I don't. But since you want to start school so early, I might have something for you. You do? What is it, Mr Lizard? Oh, washing Mr Lizard's learning sticks. I thought he was going to give me an award. Being punctual was not such a good idea, Wall. Maybe you were a little too punctual. You're the best, Wall. Why can't Mr Lizard see it? As the most cautious student, and I have the award to prove it, <laughs> I advise you not to do anything more to annoy Mr Lizard. I don't believe my strategy is flawed. Somehow I've got to prove to Mr Lizard that I'm a good student. Sure, Wall. Just don't do anything silly. And I am talking here as the most adventurous student award winner. I'd love to give you an idea, Wall, because I am the most resourceful student, see? <laughs> 
but I can't think of anything helpful. I appreciate your sentiments, gang, but do you have to keep reminding me that I'm the only one here without an award? Well, <sighs> sorry, well. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. Lizard. Lizard. So nice to see everyone on time, no one late, and no one too early. I am sorry about that, Mr. Lizard. I'm just so ready and enthusiastic to learn. I love school. Oh, well, of course, I think the teacher may have something to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Your jokes are so funny, Mr. Lizard. Yes, quite. What are we doing today, Mr. Lizard? I can't wait to start. I'm so enthusiastic and ready to learn. I'm your most enthusiastic student. So you keep saying. Uh, well, children, today I'd like to talk to you about spiders. First, I need a volunteer. I'll volunteer, Mr. Lizard. Very well. Up you come, Wally. I love spiders. I couldn't be more enthusiastic and ready to learn about spiders. You couldn't find anyone more enthusiastic to learn, Mr. Lizard. Please, children, we have more than enough enthusiasm. Uh, Wally, hold out your hand. That's easy for someone as enthusiastic as me, Mr. Lizard. Uh, some spiders you must avoid, while others are really quite harmless. I'd like you to meet my friend, Harry Huntsman. Oh! He might look terrifying, but he's really very friendly and no danger at all. Where is Harry, Mr. Lizard? In your hand, Wally. Ah! Wally, why did you scare poor Harry like that? You've ruined my lesson. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Lizard. I was only being enthusiastic. Hmm, I think I know what you need for all this enthusiasm of yours. You do, Mr. Lizard? I'm ready and enthusiastic for anything. I'm trying to make Mr. Lizard say I'm a good student, but all I've got for my trouble is trouble. Mr. Lizard must think I'm a very bad student. Maybe I am a bad student. That's why he didn't give me an award. Well, if I am bad, why try and be good? Why fight it? <laughs> if I am bad when I don't mean it, I might as well be bad when I do mean it. I'll be bad and love it! Whoa, where have you been? Around, hanging out. So is old Mr. Lizard freaking his frill because I'm late. But what? So who cares if I'm late and breaking the rules? Rules schmools. Are you feeling all right, Wally? Never better. I'm walking on the wild side. Hello, children. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Lizard. Lizard. I hope you're not displeased with me for keeping you waiting. What? You kept us waiting? Well, I thought I was keeping you waiting. Oh, didn't Kevin tell you? I had to go over to Emu Flat School this morning. But uh, I thought I was late. Uh, by the way, Wally, I found my learning sticks in the creek. Is there an explanation for this? Sure there is. I put them there. Really? You got a problem with that? Not at all. Good work. What? Good work? A good long soak was exactly what they needed. <laughs> well done. But I... I was being bad! And as the days go by, the moon grows until it's full. What happens after the full moon? Do you know, Wally? You're talking to me? Ask someone who cares. How would I know? I am surprised, Wally. So, am I supposed to do something about that? I am surprised and delighted. What? You see, children, there's no shame in admitting you don't know something. Take Wally's example. Be honest if you don't know something and ask about it. That's the way you learn. Well done again, Wally. But, but, oh, this is so infuriating. Forget about it, Wall. This whole award thing is driving you as balmy as a bandicoot. I tried to be a good student and was bad. Then I tried to be a bad student, but I was good. I'm a disaster. Oh, you're no disaster, Wally. Failure, yes. Silly, <laughs> of course. But no disaster. Yeah, thanks, Emily. That really makes me happy. Look, I'm the most resourceful one here. I say we go to Mr Lizard and ask him why Wally didn't get an award. And as the most adventurous award winner three years in a row, I reckon we should do it and do it now. No more thinking or talking. Come on, you. To Mr Lizard we go. Ah! But as the most cautious student, I've got to tell you this could cause really big trouble. Mr. Lizard! Who? <laughs> it's just us, Mr. Lizard. Ah, uh, uh, children, this better be an emergency. Oh, it is, Mr. Lizard. A Wally emergency. Pardon? Well, we all got an award, but Wally didn't. How come? Wally, 
Is this the reason behind your strange behavior of late? I... I just didn't understand what I did wrong, Mr. Lizard. Oh, Wally, Wally, you did nothing wrong. I didn't give you an award because you don't need one. I don't? You're by far the best student I have ever had in all my years of teaching. I only gave awards to the others to encourage them to do better. You what? It was a trick to make us do better. Uh, of course, you fully deserve those awards for all your hard work and uh, uh, pursuit of excellence. Oh, that's okay then. I thought not getting an award was a punishment for something. Far from it, Wally. I really didn't think you'd react like this. I'm sorry for everything, Mr. Lizard. I really didn't want to make trouble. Well, Wally, if you want an award so much, there is one you fully deserve. There is, Mr. Lizard? How does it feel to be a winner, Wolf? Not everyone gets the best learning stick cleaner award. Yes, it's not quite the award I had in mind, but at least it's an award. Oh, you bet you will. I mean, even if it's a pretty dumb one. Kevin! What? Put it this way, Kevin. If there was an award for insensitivity, you'd win by a mile. Wow. You reckon? That's not a compliment, Kevin. But an award is an award, and if I've got something coming to me, I'd love to get it. We'll give you what's coming to you, won't we, Emily? <laughs> What kind of award was that? <laughs> the best award of all. And you earned it fair and square, Kevin. Ah! <laughs>